Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a August wrap up. I'm sorry I had to remember because I'm filming another video but today I'm bringing you my August wrap up and this month in August, I mean not this month, oh my god, last month in August I read three books so let's get into it i will first of all let me explain i read three books simply because it was a very busy month it was the summertime and it was busy so that's why i only read three books so the first book that i'm going to talk about is by maya angelo and it's called phenomenal woman as you can see it's a very thin like book so it probably only took me about five to maybe ten minutes to read it, but I did um um stick some I did annotate, I'm sorry, I did annotate some things that I thought were very powerful. This is a very, very good book. Um I I on my Goodreads I rated it five stars. So I read this in September. I mean and October and oh my god guys I am everywhere today like I'm tired it's almost my bedtime so please bear with me but I read this in August that's that and then the next book I read was called Finding Yvonne by Brandy Colbert this book was good but it was bland at times um it follows a young girl named Yvonne, and she lost her mother. Well, she didn't lose her mother. Her mother um, left her, and she lives with her father. Her father is a chef. He's a famous chef in the book, and it really just speaks upon her trials and tribulations without having a mother and having a father um and how his parenting styles are it was good guys i think i gave it three stars on goodreads it was good but it was so bland like it was just bland i can't even really i don't know like i annotated some things in the book as you can see um yvonne is an african-american girl she she's in high school she has a boyfriend that works for her father um, that her father does know about. And then there's another love interest in the book. And it follows her relationship with her best friend and follows her relationship with her boyfriend and with the other guy. Um, it's, it's like I said, it's a it's a decent book, but it was dry. Um, it was dry and the ending was good. Um, but that's really it. I mean, I liked it, but it could have had some more pizzazz, I guess. So, it was okay. And then the next book I read was Lit. Okay? It was Lit, 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 Like, it was Lit. Okay? And I hauled this book earlier this year or in December of last year and that's none other than Head Games by Mary B. Morrison. Let's get into it. Okay. Annotated a lot of stuff in this book. This book was so lit. <laughs> At first, I honestly, like I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like the first few chapters, I'm like, mm-mm, like I'm not gonna like it. It's not going to be good, but y'all, this book was so good. Like, it was good. Um, and on Goodreads, it didn't have a lot of good reviews. So I'm like, well, it's really good. But this book was good. I mean, I liked it. I enjoyed it. Oh, my puppy's right here. He wants me to rub his belly. Um, I enjoyed it, but... Let me just give you the synopsis. Um, so basically, we have a group of friends that... You gotta wait, Moose. We have a group of friends that they have this bet, okay? They have this bet 
of who can sleep with the most women in 30 days or not. I think it's 30 days. Um, who can sleep with the most women in 30 days and whoever wins gets a million dollars. So they all, they're all very successful too. So they all had to like chip in a certain amounts of money, okay, to get to this point. So we have Trim, Dallas, Cole, and Blitz. Trim was my least favorite in the book, but he was he was my least favorite, but he was the most that he was the one that kept my attention. All of them kept my attention, but Trim was just trifling, okay? Um Dallas he has some mental issues, you know what I'm saying? Just some some mental issues. Cole was all right. Cole was he was a little boring and Blitz was a con artist. That's all I'm gonna say. Because if I say any more, it's going to give away the book. Um Karma for these men that tried to play these women. Man. I mean, these women got these men back tenfold. So, I really don't want to say a lot. I really just want y'all to read this book. This book was so good. This is probably one of the best books I've read this year. And this year, I haven't already read a lot of good books, maybe four. Um, but this is definitely in that stack. So, go ahead. Get this from your local library. Look on thrift books, see if they have it. This book was so good. And I think at first when I read it, it was really hard for me to understand it because it's written how a man would speak. And I'm not a man, I'm a woman. So I don't understand the language of a man. But like, in order for me to read it, I had to really think like, okay, think like a man and that's what I had to do to really understand the language in this book but in my opinion Mary B. Morrison did a very good job writing it it was very good it kept my attention the whole time and it's a good book so that is it I only read three books in August so that's it for my August TV, um, my August wrap up but I will be um, doing another video right now of my TBR for, my TBR for September. So, stay tuned for that video. As soon as I upload this one, I'm going to upload the other one. Thank you guys for joining my channel, and I hope you guys like the video. If any of you guys have read it, please leave a comment down below. If you are new to this channel... Please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe. I read African American lit. I read urban lit. Um, and I'm starting to branch out into science fiction. So please, please subscribe to my channel. And if any of you guys have read these books, I'm sorry, I don't know if I said it. But leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of the books. Anyways, have a good night. And me and... My baby. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. All right. Bye.